Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. I just needed to make sure I turned the camera on that time around because believe it or not, there has been a time where I went around and I thought I had the camera going and then 15 minutes later I realized I was never recording. A happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you uh, watching and, and tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving and I decided, well, I guess this is really like a Thanksgiving pre-game show because it's the day before Thanksgiving, but you know, we'll make an exception. Let's just pretend that it's Thanksgiving. And I was thinking to myself, because last year I did a Happy Thanksgiving video, uh, years prior I did the infamous Thanksgiving blowout videos, I thought, what am I going to do this year? to kind of, uh, you know, commemorate, celebrate the holiday, make a little video. So well, I'm going to do a review. And I kind of had two options that were really at the forefront of my mind that I was really thinking about. I was thinking, I'm either going to do a review for the holiday uh, turkey and stuffing panini from Starbucks, which, you know, I go to Starbucks every single day. That'd be a good, you know, Thanksgiving-themed item to try out. Or... I was going to try the Cinnabon uh, dessert from Pizza Hut. And I kind of, it, it, it was really down to the wire. I, I was really, I just couldn't figure out which one was more similar to Thanksgiving. So I just did a coin toss and it so happened that we're going to try out the holiday panini from Starbucks. Now, this is a very Thanksgiving themed uh, item to say the least. Let me give you a little description of it and then we'll just get right into it. So it's called the Holiday Turkey and Stuffing Panini, again from Starbucks. It's from their kind of bakery deli, so to speak. Here's how they describe it. They say this item comes with a generous portion of sliced turkey, cranberry herb stuffing, gravy, and it's on toasted ciabatta bread. Maybe it's ciabatta. Uh, so that's uh, what it is. And it's supposed to just be like Thanksgiving on the go. Supposed to be Starbucks take on a Thanksgiving turkey dinner, but it's something that's just portable. It's on the go. It's like a sandwich, but it has the turkey on it and the stuffing, and it's just supposed to have all of those favorite, you know, those those Thanksgiving favorites all in one on a sandwich that again just comes in this. You could probably eat it in the car, eat it on the way to work. You're not doing anything for Thanksgiving, but you still want to get that full flavor action going. You can just get this. You know, that's what they're aiming for. And uh, we'll try it out. Interestingly enough, I'll just give this as a little side, so to speak. The food at Starbucks, I gotta give them credit where credit is due, has improved over the years. You know, I remember when I tried a food item from Starbucks back in 2015, and it was disgusting. And then over the last few years, uh, the food at Starbucks has gotten relatively better and better. I gotta give them credit where credit is due. The drinks have always been great. The food is uh, is improving though. That's that's the uh, that's the way I see it anyway. So this is what it looks like. You know, there there's me holding it. You can really just see the bread at this point, though doing the infamous uh, de bunning process of it. Now you can really see both the figurative and literal meats right there. And there you can kind of see that steam coming out. It's, it's smoking, smoking, but there is a mountain, a mountain of turkey, along with their patented cranberry herb stuffing and gravy. But you know, that's what it is. It's supposed to just have, you know, as I said, like a Thanksgiving dinner, right? You got the turkey there, you can kind of see some of the cranberry sauce and the gravy underneath it. And then it's all topped up on this uh, piece of Italian bread for the most part. So with that being said, uh, I think we know what's on it. It has its certainly ingredients and flavors, but it is not the most complicated item in the world. So I'm just going to take a few bites, try it, let you know what it tastes like, and then we'll just go from there. So uh, it's the holiday turkey and stuffing panini from Starbucks going in. Happy Halloween, everyone.
I'll take two more bites. Price for this, $6.25, which, while pricey, many items at Starbucks are what would be considered to be pricey. So, one thing that I want to try to do anyway, and we'll see to what degree of, you know, we're able to actually accomplish this, I just want to try anyway to cut this in half. So this is one of those items where I think a cross section, you know, like from deep within, uh, would be of, of interest. Just so you can kind of see what it looks like. Yeah. So what I was, sorry, what I was really noticing is that it was very layered and, and you can see it right here where you can see there's the bread, you can see the turkey, and then you can see kind of the stuffing and the, the, you know, cranberry gravy uh, down there as well. So it's a very layered sandwich. Here's my overall consensus. I only have one complaint, and really one complaint only, when it comes down to the sandwich. Otherwise, I think they did a pretty decent job with it. Like I said, the quality of their food has been gradually improving over the years. So, taste-wise, I mean, it's a pretty good sandwich. I gotta give them credit. The turkey is good. Uh, it, it, it is fresh. It's flavorful. You know, the, the one issue that I have with turkey sometimes, because admittedly that isn't my uh, my meat of choice. Usually I'll just go with chicken. Um, the thing with turkey is that sometimes it can be so drying, you know, it can it, it, it's just very drying at times. This, on the other hand, you know, it's it's seasoned, it's, it's moist, tastes good. Um, there's a good amount of it too, just very flavorful. Tastes great. I, I gotta give them credit with the turkey. There's a pretty generous portion of that on this sandwich. Uh, the cranberry sauce, you know, it's definitely there. You can make it out. The cranberry sauce has never been my favorite part of the Thanksgiving feast, but it certainly is discernible. Uh, the gravy, there could have been a little bit more gravy, admittedly, but the amount that's there is certainly doable. And the stuffing, I gotta give them credit on that. My favorite part undeniably when it comes down to Thanksgiving feasts is the stuffing and there is plenty of that and it tastes great. Here's my complaint. The bread that it's on just just doesn't work in my opinion. I don't know, if, if this is just, if I were the one that was designing this sandwich, let's say, I would want to put this configuration, because as I said, I think there's nothing wrong with the ingredients on it. I think they taste great. I think they work together perfectly. My issue is the bread. I don't think it works very well on this Italian bread, so to speak. I think if this was served on like more of a, like a buttery type of roll, now not necessarily a croissant, it doesn't need to go that far, but maybe something that has, has maybe like some cornbread aspect, or just something that's a little softer and buttery, I think this would go perfectly on it. I just think that the very harsh uh, crunchiness that this Italian bread that it's served on kind of takes away from the overall uh, enjoyment of this this meal and detracts from it a little bit. That's my only issue. Taste-wise, I mean, even the bread, I can't complain about. The bread tastes fine, but I think just the texture of it and, again, just how, how hard and crunchy it is uh, does detract from it a little bit. So that's my two cents on it otherwise, but, again, otherwise I just think great sandwich overall but the bread needs a little bit of improvement. The price for this, $6.25. And out of 10, what am I going to be rating the holiday turkey and stuffing panini from Starbucks? You know, out of 10, I'm gonna be giving it uh, an 8.6 out of 10. That's an 8.6. 
because I think when it comes down to all the flavors, they nailed it. They did a good job. It needs some improvement with the bread, and it can have a little bit more gravy, but overall, it's most certainly doable. And you know what? It does taste like a Thanksgiving dinner. I think it is perfect on the go. It's not too messy. They just did a good job with it overall. So if, hey, if you're kind of scrounging around, you're looking for something to eat on Thanksgiving, check out Starbucks. They actually have a pretty decent Thanksgiving sandwich out there to, uh, to check out. So that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. And uh, I know for those of you who've been, who've been sitting on the edge of your seat the entire video and you're wondering, review bra, Thanksgiving is a Thursday. Are you going to be doing a radio show then? I am. If you have nothing to do on, on Thanksgiving, uh, tune in, listen in. You can find it on SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash VORW underscore radio underscore INT or on the shortwave WRMI. Uh, more info on that is in the description and also in the cards and the pinned comment. Check it out if you're interested or you could listen in any day you want. That's all that I have for you. Thank you. Take care. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours.